Hello everyone, this is Cheryl from Sher and Charlie's Personal Crafts. How are you tonight? I told you I'd be back on this evening um, and we'll finish up our craft, I hope. Um, but first of all, I wanna say, don't forget about the giveaway Wednesday night between six and 8 p.m. $15 Dunkin' Donut gift card. Everyone loves Dunkin' Donuts. And uh, there's another little trinket that I found and I think I picked up another thing the other day in the value place at the Acme. They still haven't replenished it, but I found something that I had that I had missed. So um, don't forget about that. And uh, if I think of anything else to add, I will certainly do that. So please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do personal crafts. Uh, I try to personalize things to the person's taste and uh, see what I come up with. Anyway, uh, let's get to it. This turned out way better than I had anticipated. Make sure it's right. All right, this is 1950s vintage look uh, painting that I did. Actually, this is the way it should be um, because this is the way it's going to hang. And you see how I, in case you haven't seen this video, I spliced it together with hot glue and popsicle sticks. Now, last night I had edges that I had to uh, cut, you know, finish off. So what I did was I used the painter's tape and we, I finished off painting all the intersect, all in here with the mint green. Now right here, it, it pulled up some of the, uh, I wish I hadn't put it on there, but I didn't have painter's tape. Some of the um, cardboard that I had laid down to try to uh, like uh, tape it off so that it wouldn't bleed. So it's a little rough right there, but it's okay. Cause this is actually cost me really uh, a dollar. So I'm not complaining cause all the paints I had and the bag was 50 cents and I cut some of this bag out. I thought it was so vintage looking. So what we're going to do tonight is we are going to um, I'm going to do the vintage saying that I told you I had decided on. So I went online and I've been Googling a uh, font that represents the 50s and they have some that's uh, writing and some that's print. And I kind of found this online. I know it's backwards, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. Um, that's the only one that I thought I could duplicate if I used uh, a marker pen. This is a medium point dry erase marker. Um, or I could have used the stencils, which I have here, but I wasn't really thrilled about the font. I've used them several times. Um, and if I did that, I would, I would paint it you know, a touch, use a brush and just paint it on, or I could even use the black, I'm going to use black, the black marker to um, put it on here, the words on here. And the saying that I came up with, because I was born in the 50s, is love is being born in the 50s. I think that's right. Love is being, no, love is being born in the 50s. And I asked my daughter, is that all right? She said, yeah. So um, that's what we're gonna do. So I am going to take a minute and I'm gonna think about how we're gonna do this, either paint or if I'm gonna freehand it. Um, I'm just so afraid I'm gonna mess it up if I freehand it or I can use the marker instead of the paint and we can use these stencils. Um, so I'm gonna play around with this and I'm gonna be back and we're gonna get started. Okay, what I decided to do is, this is going to be scary, but I'm going to try to freehand this because I look at the stencil and I don't know if it really looks like the 50s. And I don't know if I can make it look like the 50s, but I'm going to try. So I'm going to try to use this font and uh, do my best. All right, so I have a ruler out. And look, I didn't pay, and by the way, this laid beautiful, this this uh, 
bag that I cut. It's like a shiny plastic. Oh my God, it laid beautiful with the Mod Podge. So I'm thrilled with the way this turned out. And what I did was, I have an old jar that I kind of messed it up, but it's real. I cleaned it out. It was tomato sauce that I used last night for dinner. I made myself spaghetti. And this is the lid. And so I thought, I don't know what I'm going to do if I'm going to leave it clear, but I cut a piece of the vintage, uh, the, sand, the bag off, because I'm going to be using that for a lot of things. I think it's beautiful. I even may do it on my um, flower flower pot. I planted a flower from a spider plant that I found in the hall and it was sprouting all over. So I just took a little sprig of it and and I um, put it in some water and I had uh, went out to the Dollar Tree and bought a, uh, a bag of dirt for a dollar, plant dirt. And I got the planter for a dollar and I just, and it's doing beautiful. So I'm like, I may Mod Podge that also and get that vintagey look in here. Anyway, so I'm going to Mod Podge that on there. It'll take like a second. And I think that's gonna be really cute. But right now, I'm more concerned about doing this. So let's get started. I am really nervous to do this. Oh my goodness. Okay, I just want this font to be okay. I know it's free and all that, but I really want it to turn out. Okay, let's try it. So I'm gonna put you down here. So what I'm doing is I have a ruler and I have the way the words are gonna be on here. Love, love is being, so I have to make them large enough that it kind of fits in here. And then the second line is, it's gonna say love is being born in the, and then real large 50s. So uh, I'm not very good at math to try to figure out what goes where. So I'm going to try my best and I'll be stop, stopping and starting the tape so we can save time. And I'm going to try to use the font that I have here. I'm going to try. Okay, so let's give it a shot. Okay, I'm going to say L-O-V-E. I'm so nervous. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like this. Oh my goodness, let's just do it. And it has this little like texture to it. This little, you're supposed to, just to make it look vintage -y, so I hope it turns out. You kind of have to make it look a little like messy. I don't know how to explain it to make it look vintagey. I don't know how to explain it, but after I get the letters on here, I am going to go back and fix them or fill them in a little bit better. Vintage I'm just doing the best I can. Don't you hate it when you think you got it made and then all of a sudden you misspell something and you're like, no! I'm trying my best. Uh, I can always go in and fill it in. I can go online and see how the font is and fix it okay now the next line I'm going to try to center it I, I told you I'm not good at math and I'm not good at alignments and things like that for this I, I don't know how I did so many signs and really didn't have much of a um, problem okay 
let's see. Okay, so the next line is going to be being born, no, um, born in the, born in the, and then the bottom is going to be 50s, real large. I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, love is being born, born in the. Okay, so we're going to start here. <clears throat> I'm trying to copy the font. Some of the letters they didn't have, so they only went up to O, so I'm just copying what I have. The O is just a plain looking O, and it doesn't have an R, so I gotta wing it. I don't know. I hope you're all having a great night. The, I don't know if I have a T to copy. And of course I don't. I wish I had vintage font. I could have ordered it, but it's not necessary. Let me take this down a little more. I wanted to use the, the um, <clears throat> stencils but i'm just so afraid it's going to smear and i could use this magic marker and do it like and stencil it on but i just don't like that font at all and, uh, now i'm going to make this large so let's see i'm trying to in the uh, f To start right here, I think. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. Like I said, some of the letters I don't have. it and I will turn this around so you can see it F. I should have made this in the center more see what I mean oh let's see T and there's no T that I can copy so I gotta try to figure it out T Now, because I have, you know how me, I always make a mistake and then I regret it. Oh my God. What I'm going to do, because I have all this extra space, I'm going to go in here and I am going to find something vintage and I'm going to paint it. I'll probably draw it, sketch it, to put a little thing right here to fill in that space because I didn't realize I should have made 50s bigger. I don't know why, but it has little like star things for the eyes. And I don't know why, but that's the way they are on the 50s uh, font. Okay, so I'm going to put something. I'm going to show you. See, this is what happens. when. But the one thing you can say about me, I am doing this right in front of you guys to show you the stuff that happens to me. And it just makes me so upset because I work really hard and then I find it happens to everyone. It's not just me. And so what I'm going to do is uh, because I didn't center this, I'm going to turn this around so you can see. Let me make this. Okay. Do you see? All right. It's kind of okay. It's not great, but it's kind of, I wanted it to look kind of juvenile-ish. 
and I'm not crazy about this. It's a little off center. And as you see, I should have put 50s larger at the bottom. So what I'm going to do to fill in this area is I'm gonna probably draw something, like uh, of something of the 50s. Let me put this down so you can, sorry all this junk's in the way. And instead of painting it and going back over it, I'm sorry, let's just lay it down here like this. Okay. Oh, and there goes my paint. Okay, so I, I don't mind the font at all. It's okay. But if you notice on the right, um, got that empty spot. So that has to be corrected. So I didn't want anything else on this, but I'm going to look up something from the 50s and we'll go from there. Now, as far as a border, I don't think this needs one, um, a frame. I think that black and white check is fine for the, for the uh, frame. Okay, let me turn you around. Hold on one second. So I don't really think it needs a frame, okay? Now, because you can't really tell it's backwards, you can't get appreciated, but yeah, this is not good. The font is okay, like I said. Um, and if I had my way, I would probably frame it with white, some sort of white plastic. White, uh, what, not plastic, like white, shine, that shiny material. I don't know what you call that, but that's what I would use. It reminds me of the 50s. Or a mint green, shiny, plasticky material. So maybe I'll find something, I don't know. But the checker board is fine for, for now. And I just have to look up something on the internet to put in the blank space here. And I, ha I was gonna do that anyway if I had some extra room. But I'm gonna fill this in a little bit better. And then I'm gonna Mod Podge over it to give it a nice shine. Uh, and then uh, finish it off after I draw something on the right side there to see what I can fill in. I saw some cool stuff on the internet, uh, like 50s cars. I think I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> it just came to me. I'm gonna tell you. I think I'm gonna draw like a milkshake cup. Um, I'll sketch it on here with a pencil and then I'll paint it like the same the colors that I have in around that border of the bag this uh, bag the border of the bag well I'll pick up colors in there and make a nice milkshake because my mother she used to take us to uh, a five and ten cent store you guys if you're young you don't know what they are but if you're my age you know and she used to take me and my baby brother because my aunt and uncle had like a luncheonette and it had like milkshakes and ice cream sodas and stuff and a juke, old jukebox. And my mother loved music and so do I. Uh, I used to sing, not professionally, but I used to sing in a band. And uh, that's another story, okay? But I had a lot of fun and my mother loved music and she would turn that music on, the 50s music and me and my brother, or 60s, and my brother, baby brother and I would get into the booth and drink our milkshakes or our ice cream sodas and oh, what memories. Okay, now I'm gonna Mod Podge this while you guys are here to show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna Mod Podge it onto this lid and I'll be back because we're already over the minutes I really wanted to be. Be right back. Okay, hi, I'm back. Okay, so I Mod Podged it on here, and after it dries, it's moving all around because it's a slippery metal lid. After it dries, I am going to decide what color I'm gonna paint this jar. I think I'm gonna paint it white first in the chalk paint and then go over it in a vintage color. I'll probably pick up maybe the teal uh, and um, let it dry, and then I'm gonna, if you can tell around the edges where I drew, I'm gonna cut this off with my, um, that razor blade that I have, I'll just cut it around there and then I'll have a really cute, make sure it's on straight, 1950s jar and I'm gonna start saving my candle jars and I'm gonna use that bag and I'm gonna Mod Podge a whole bunch of stuff to kind of pick up, you know, the 50s look in here that I'm going for. 
So that's it for tonight. Uh, like I said, don't forget about the giveaway. I'm real excited about that. It's no big deal. But also, if you can get your friends to subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate it because if we can get to 300, I have a big $50 giveaway. Um, and I'm about 75 subs away. I know that's a lot, but that's a big one. And I got to start moving up. So, um, I'm happy with all you guys. I love my subscribers, but my purpose was to try to get to a thousand so that I can be noticed by YouTube. Hopefully, and maybe it won't happen, but I'm going to put it out there and I'm going to give it a shot just like everybody else on YouTube. We got to keep trying. So, before I get off here, I got to tell you, I ran into the coolest channel on YouTube. Um, I have to get the name for you. It's uh, This is freaking me out. But I was looking up 50 stuff and this girl popped up. Young girl and she's totally vintage. Her house is all vintage. Everything. Most of it is not reproduction. It's all she, she wears all vintage clothing. Um, but when I come back, the next video, uh, probably Wednesday, I'm going to show you, uh, share with you this girl's channel. Unbelievable. And if you love the 50s like I do, it blew me away. And like I said, I was Googling something for the 50s for this uh, picture. Let me get it. And she popped up and I'm hooked, line and sinker. And I subscribed right away. But if you can, help me get to that 300 so I can do the giveaway and build my channel up before I'm not, <laughs> I'm not able to do it anymore. I'm only kidding. No, I'm not kidding. Anyway, I'm really happy with this. It's going to be a lot better because I'm going to fill in, do some, go on Google and make sure I have this font right. And then we'll, I'm going to probably do a milkshake right here. How's that? Okay. Hopefully, I hope I can do it. Anyway, thank you for watching. God bless you. I'll pray for you. You pray for me. And I miss my dog really bad. I don't sleep good without my puppy. I know he's not a puppy, but he's a puppy to me. And it breaks my heart, and I can barely talk about him. But I can't take him away from my grandson. It's just, I just can't. I, I just can't do it. So, thank you for watching. Wednesday giveaway. God bless.